The point is that the ICJ referendum is a national issue which should never divide us along party lines. At a time like this, we must keep our eyes on the prize, a Belize free from Guatemala's claim. Regardless of our political differences, the fact remains that on 8th May, we are being called upon to vote yes or no. And our nation calls on us to vote not by party, but for country. All four prime ministers of Belize, including the father of the nation, George Price, have supported going to the ICJ to end Guatemala's claim. All international lawyers who have advised both Belize and also Guatemala agree that Belize has good title to all its territory. They confirm that Guatemala's claim is without merit and that it would be regarded as such by the ICJ. In addition, we are assured by former president of the ICJ, Judge Schwebel, that once the matter is before the court, the prospects are high for Belize to successfully obtain binding provisional measures to direct Guatemala to cease and desist from its actions on the Sarstoon, to respect the terms of the 1859 Treaty. This means getting the UN Security Council to make Guatemala leave Belize alone. Those who say no to the ICJ offer no viable alternative. They say Belize stands to lose territory, but cannot offer any credible evidence to support this. Some resort to emotionalism and fear-mongering. They offer no fix, no alternative. Nothing but to sit still and hope for the best. That will not do. I believe it is irresponsible and I believe it is disrespectful, especially to the great men and women who strive every day to protect our country. Further, the indisputable fact is that ICJ cases, all the court's jurisprudence relating to territorial and boundary disputes, confirm that Belize's title to this country and its right to self-determination with full territorial integrity is compelling. We thus have nothing to fear but fear itself.